Get ready with me as I answer your question. To answer your question of what prompted me to embark on my self-healing journey is because I was super sick. That's when I kind of got into TikTok as well. And all the TikTok people said on my For You page, do affirmation. I was like, if I can say I'm healthy and I can become healthy, sign me up. I'm so sick and tired of being sick. And then I was going through one of the YouTube I am affirmations because I didn't know which one to do. And then it was just like a list of I am, I am, I am. And then one of them said, I am loved. And then I was like saying it out loud. And then like this heart, like my heart was saying something else. And I was like, this doesn't make sense. That's when I realized that I didn't love myself. I was thinking, if I don't love myself, how can I let other people to love me the way that I want to be loved? It's when I tried making myself as a baby and um, let her do everything she wanted to do. If I didn't have to think about what other people thought and then if I was just my child, I would love my child so much that I'd be like, yeah, wear all the strawberry stuff. That's how I got started. And what I learned from that is you think you know yourself, but you really don't. And how I was able to really not be bothered by what other people thought, like that viral video that I have when other people called something about me, is because I spent so much time. Like, you might think like January to now is uh, enough time to do that, but to me, it was so hard. <laughs> Oh, I, I like almost feel like I'm going to tear up just like thinking about it. But then the bottom line is you have to do it for yourself. You have to show up and it's a journey too, right? My state is going to change and me learning about this is how I can be better in a different situations rather than, hey, I did this magical sauce thing and then I am all healed. I have nothing else to do. Everybody has something to work on at some point of their lives, you know? I honestly spent my childhood not wanting to be pictured, cameraed, or anything. I made myself small because I just wanted to be invisible. I just wanted to blend in. But when one of my ex coworkers slash friend said, Hey, I wonder if those TikTok guys are actually happy. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm happy. <laughs> Had it not been for strawberries, I wouldn't be here talking to you either. I have done a lot of things and I would have missed out on life. This was my first get ready with me, so I might not have made a lot of sense, but thanks for sticking with me and hopefully I'll get better over time.